What's going on everyone? I'm Trey Wilcox and I'm here to show you how to work with some amazing meats from Cowboy Wagyu. Today we're gonna to work with one of my favorite cuts of meat, the picanha. Um, the marbling and the flavor of this meat is just on another level. This is the one that has kind of originated in the Latin America, Brazilian parts of the world. You will find this cut of meat a lot at Brazilian steakhouses. So if you've ever wondered how you can prepare this piece of meat yourself, you're in the right place. Um, I've already got a grill getting hot outside. 450, 500 degree oven would not be a bad idea for this cut of meat. A large cut of meat like this, we don't wanna really work with it in its whole shape. We wanna break it down into smaller pieces. So I am gonna cut it with my knife into two to three chunks, um, but I'm gonna cut with the grain. When we get ready to serve the meat, obviously we'll slice it against the grain before we serve it. So just with a sharp knife, cutting with the grain, I'm gonna cut it, oh wow. And it's just looking inside of it, you can already see that that's gonna be a really delicious cut of meat. My mouth is watering just looking at this piece of meat. Now, I am gonna prepare a marinade to go with this um, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, as I've mentioned before, with the Cowboy Wagyu cuts, they're already so delicious, high marble, great fat, little bit of age taste on them. You really don't need to do much to them. So um, with my marinade, I'm only gonna use a few simple ingredients. Um, I'm gonna use some cilantro, um, I'm also gonna use some Italian flat leaf parsley. These two herbs are very different and sometimes they get confused when you're just picking one or the other. I always like to look at the cilantro and, and understand that the ends of the leaves are round or curled and so curly cilantro and then parsley, Italian flat leaf always has pointy edges or pointy leaves, pointy parsley. So we're gonna use both in this scenario. I also have yellow onion and of course one of my favorite ingredients is garlic. So only other ingredient that you need is just a little bit of very neutral olive oil. We don't need to go high end, super extra virgin olive oil here. We're just looking for a very neutral, simple olive oil to blend these ingredients with. When working with the herbs, we don't wanna use the stems. So I'm just gonna twist these herbs. I've already washed them, rinsed them out. Cilantro goes right into the blender. And then my Italian flat leaf parsley. Use a little bit of our yellow onion. And then we wanna have about 15 to 20 cloves of peeled garlic. I'm trying to escape there. So this puree is something that you can make ahead of time. Um, you don't have to make it right before the mar marination process. You can have it made um, days in advance as long as it's kept in your refrigerator. And now my olive oil. And then we just need to blend this mixture up. We're not looking for a super, super fine, smooth marinade. This isn't your smoothie in the morning. This is just a really kind of lightly chunky kind of marinade that we're gonna use for this meat. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this up. And yeah, I can already see. Nice, vibrant color, smells delicious. And we just need to use enough just to be able to coat this, these three pieces of meat. So once I come in here, I'm gonna place these pieces of meat into the marinade. We'll take our tongs here, and we just wanna mix this marinade over the meat. This is a marination process that can be as long or as short as you like. I generally like to marinate this meat for at least 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm a big believer in marination. Um, so I always think that if you can go to 45 minutes on this, it'd be nice. You don't need to refrigerate this. Um, again, we're always want to make sure that we temper our pieces of meat. So it's really important to just leave this on your countertop. If you want to cover it lightly with some plastic, you could, but just make sure that grill is nice and hot and ready for this because this is going to be delicious. So we'll take this out to the grill. Obviously you can cook it to your desired doneness, but this steak cooks really fast. It's got a pretty good amount of fat on it on one side, if you noticed. So be ready for your grill to flame up on you. So we're out here with the green egg. It's nice and hot for us. We're gonna go ahead and get our pecan seasoned and off to the grill. Just gonna use a little bit of salt. Good amount of salt, it's always helpful. Let marinate. Boom. Salt. 
Mm-hmm. A little pepper. Oh yeah, that looks good. So we want to go ahead and cook these on the grill for about four to six minutes on each side, and we'll be ready to have some delicious pecan steak. Excellent. So I've got my pecan steaks off of the grill, and I've got a really nice rest on them as well. So I'm really excited about how these things came out. This piece of meat will tighten up on you. So it's really important to make sure that this meat definitely rests for seven to eight minutes. I've got some black eyed peas that I'm gonna serve this with. I kinda of think that the peas and rice or just some type of pea or legume would be really nice to serve with this. Um, but it's really important that you remember that whichever direction that the grain goes, you wanna make sure you slice across the grain. Um, it's just really important steps there. But I'm really excited to to just check out this meat. Um, it's one of those pieces of meat that I gotta say, it's just, <laughs> it's just delicious. Um, it's got an extra piece of fat on to it that's connected to it that as it cooks, it kind of melts back into the meat. And uh, you know, it's just one of those ones that, I mean, I love going to a good um, Brazilian steakhouse, but you got cowboy Wagyu coming to your doorstep why not just do it yourself? So if you wanted to use that marinate as a little bit extra kind of like garnish or sauce on the plate, you could do that as well. Um, but I really like how the flavor of this, this garlic and the parsley and the cilantro just, it really pairs well with this cut of meat. So I'm just gonna slice out one piece, all right? And I mean, you can see right here, the deliciousness, the marbling coming out of this meat not to mention the aroma that's just in this room. My black eyed peas, I've just cooked very traditional style, added a little collard greens to it, maybe a little bit of smoked ham hock, and just a little bit of vegetable stock. But my picanha steak is here, and I just wanna kinda keep that meat kinda naturally how it was sliced out, and just kinda keep it true to the shape, give it a little blot, and then just, just wanna fan that piece of meat just right around those black eyed peas. If you wanted to add a little bit of rice to this, you could. I think it would be a great addition. Kind of the peas and rice, very traditional to South American cuisine, going with a very Latin piece of meat. So this is our grilled picanha steak full of fresh black eyed peas. Hopefully you'll come back, check out more right here at Cowboy Wagyu.